Hello everybody, welcome back to the Magician Key 2 channel. Today we're doing a premium box, here it is. Premium box right, right from uh, Japan Crate, so let's dig on into this. I got my knife to open it up, you can see it is still sealed. Yep. <sighs> so, I have a video in the works for you guys, it's uploading actually as this one is uh, doing what it needs to do. So it's going to be up before this one. In the next few minutes, actually, so well before I'm done with this video. And it is something I promised you guys last month. I'm sorry that I haven't gotten it till just now. Sorry about that. So, let's see what we got this month. Here's our cute little manga. Let's just crack it right on open. Oh, last month I did mention uh, White Day. Let's see. Uh... I don't see anything mentioned about White Day in here. Maybe in the uh, Doki Crate, which I will be doing later. But there is something about Hina Matsuri, Girls' Day or Dolls' Day. Um, the holiday originally started with the tradition of floating dolls. Hina means doll down a river to ward off bad luck. Now it's to celebrate girls. So girls. You ever go to Japan? Go at the start of March third and fourth. There is a day all for you. How about that? Now let's see. Open it right up, and let's start with the big bag. Big bag of something. And this is what the packaging looks like. I'll try to find it for you guys real quick. Yuki no Yado chips, salty sweet chips, new spin on classic Japanese senbai or rice cracker. The name Yuki no Yado means snow in, as the frosting on the senbai is said to look like snow on an inn. Well, maybe? This is the chip, this is the rice cracker. Salty, a little bit sweet, very little sweet, a lot of salty. They're a little addictive though. I would say like a little bit of Dorito. Very sweet. Okay, kind of like a um one of those rice cakes we get here from Quaker. All right, I got a box. It's a box. Some really cool stuff on it. This is can't tell, but it looks like cookies with pandas. You can never go wrong with it. Ooh. That's cool. See inside of the box. Yeah, it's cool. And it's got a little tray. Um. I'm still not seeing what it is, guys, but I will let you know what it tastes like. It's a cookie and a piece of chocolate with a panda. More fries in the middle. More chocolate. It's good, though. I have no idea what it is. Go figure. Um, this is obviously a do-it-yourself. And I'm not seeing this one either. Oh! Choco Kanako Mui Mochi. Just add water. And yeah. I might do a video of this later. I don't know. I've always said I might do a do it yourself video, but I never do. If that's something y'all want to see, just let me know and I'll do it. Got a little. Strawberry feels like fruit by the foot. It's a Yaokin roll candy. Ha! Ah. And we get two! They couldn't decide what flavor to give us. We get two! One's strawberry and one's green apple. The strawberry. It's probably just gonna be like strawberry. It says the green apple is a bit more tart. I am failing at opening this opening this package. 
as we all know, Magician Key does very well is fail at opening things. Here's my knife. Ooh, you can smell the strawberry coming out of this. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I, I've seen the inside. I'm going to show you in a second. It is Japanese fruit by the foot. That is epic. Let's see. Give me a little bit of strawberry action here. Rip it off. Say grass planter. Um, it is sticky like fruit by the foot. Feels off like fruit by the foot. I don't like fruit by the foot. Very strawberry. And now for the green apple. Again, it's just fruit by the foot. Um, it smells tart. And if, if nobody knows what the tart smell is, well, I'm sorry. But even it's like anything green apple, um, sometimes lemonade can have that smell. Limeade, just tart. Definitely tart. But so good. I have a big package of something I want to look at. Okay. I have ramen a candy. Ramen a flavored candy. That I do not see. No, well, whatever. But it is a gummy candy, it looks like. Um, that tastes like ramen a. And anybody who's ever had ramen a knows that it's delicious. They're individually wrapped. That's pretty cool. So if I wanted to, I could save these for Halloween, but I mean like that, so no. Hmm. Very good. This is the original flavor, too. What is this? It is a chocolate bar. And apparently it's new in Japan. Um, Furutu Dodeka Bar. Like a bit of a crunch with your chocolate, you'll love this Dokai Bar. Almost 10 inch corn puff bar covered in milk chocolate. Corn puff and milk chocolate? Yes, please! And it's so good. It really is. It's different. And different is good. Um, sorry guys, I'm running out of places to put things here. I got one, two, three different um Umaibo rolls. These are interesting. One's pizza, one's teriyaki burger, and the other one is corn potage. Corn potage. This is the corn potage. I can tell by the corn. I will let you know what potage tastes like here in a second. Potage. It's kind of fun to say. Little corn potatoes. But potage is more fun to say. This is a teriyaki burger. See a little corn burger there. It's so good too. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Very oh, teriyaki burger. Who'd have thunk? That's really good. I need to get some teriyaki sauce for work. Um, I'm sorry, I ripped into it without showing you guys. It's just pizza. It's got a little pizzas on it. And that's really good. Fue ramen. It was like this. Whistle candy. Classic ramen flavored sweet. Eight candies in a surprise toy. Blow through the hole in the middle to make a loud whistle. So for those of us who can't whistle, just pop a piece of candy in your mouth and then you got the attention of the entire crowd. I am going to fail at this. So let's just skip the fail and go right to the open. I'll turn my knife over. Oh, whatever, I'm in. Hmm. 
Well, whatever. You got the, you got the point. It works. It's good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, people! See in the corner right here? Yeah, that's how much I fail at opening things. Didn't even realize that. Uh oh, what is a surprise toy? It's little. I don't see a net. Uh, one of our typical rotating prizes, but that's it. Oh my goodness! It's it's whoosh. I have no idea, but it's a really cool little dude. It looks blue on the screen, but it's actually green. <coughs> I'm almost through all my candy. Seven stick. This legitimately says seven stick on it. Uh, seven stick choco cream. Seven crunchy wafer sticks filled with yummy cream chocolate. Enjoy them by themselves or with ice cream. This is what it looks like. It's just a wafer. Hmm, kind of coffee flavored, but good. I have no clue. Monster stamp. There you guys go. Monster stamp candy. Interactive candy that you can use to stamp fun monster shapes. Moisten the bottom of the stamp using it. Start using it, then you can eat the whole thing when you're done. I'm just going to grab one. This is the stamp. I got a little witch. I don't think you can see it very well. Ah, turn my tongue blue. Woo! I'm dropping it. And. Ha! That is so cool. Kind of tastes like ramen and candy. Cool. Um, what else do I got in here that I haven't opened up yet? This. Um. Behind the candy. Already over with spring. Already over spring and wish it was summer. Pineapple flavored gummy rings transport you to a tropical paradise. These come with five gummy pineapple slices. It's double packed, guys. People must really hate Magician Key this month. It smells like a pineapple. Looks like a pineapple. I don't know if it's like a pineapple. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Magician Key doesn't have everything. I will be sending a message about this. I am missing. Oh no, I'm not. This. Is Saku Pen Land? It's the bonus item for this month, for last month, or just a bonus item. Saku Panda has returned in bite-sized form. In each bite, you'll get almond cream, caramel chocolate, and dark chocolate with a Saku Saku, the Japanese sound effect for crunchy. There's another onomatopoeia in Japanese for you guys. First, we had Doki Doki, which is an excited heartbeat, and now we have Saku Saku, crunchy sound. Each piece comes with a different Saku Panda face printed on it. It says it includes Tagashi Kashi featured candy. We'll flip over to that in a minute. But first, I have lime soda. Umi soda. I have no idea what Umi is. U -M -E, U-M-E. Umi. Umi. Uh, let's give it a taste. Uh. Oh. Oh, wow. It's a plum blossom. 
That's really, really good. I have to find out how to get more of that. Now let's flip the page. To page 11. Dagashi Kashi Candies. Always fun to see some of our favorite Japanese snacks in anime and manga. And that's what makes Dagashi Kashi so awesome. It's a sweet series for an anime that's all about Japanese candies and sweets. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch Dagashi Kashi on Funimation.com. That is wicked cool. Now check that out. There's stuff going on behind me in my kitchen. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I wish I had one Segoy crate. I always do, though. Especially because this one has Saba. And if you don't know who Saba is, I feel for you. Um, some more stuff there. Chocolate puzzle chocolate. I didn't, I, I didn't get that. I didn't get puzzle chocolate. Now I'm sad. I didn't get everything. I thought I did. Well, I'm, I'm sending a message about that. Uh, well, that's it for today. This video is running a little bit long. Everything was really good. I mean, I, I shouldn't be surprised at that, but there's sometimes in a month I'll get something I don't really particularly care for. But this month, I loved everything. So, like always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.